a standard part of that operating system. So updated versions of the compact framework, updated versions of SQL Mobile will be, will be part of the standard operating system. And then, of course, we'll continue uh, to build on uh, the base uh, pieces of, of the Windows Mobile architecture for operating system releases going forward. Then we will start to broaden our focus out uh, from the business and enterprise market uh, to, a more, to a more general uh, consumer market uh, with, with the kinds of things that we're doing uh, uh, post the 2007 release. Not only are we moving forward in terms of our overall, in terms of our overall roadmap, uh, but we're, we're also enhancing the opportunities for ISVs to participate with us uh, in, in, the success of, in the success of Windows Mobile. Um, and a good example of that is, is the Microsoft Applications Catalog. So today, on WindowsMobile.com, uh, we, uh, Microsoft.com Windows Mobile, uh, we provide a way uh, for your application to be certified and receive a Windows Mobile logo, and then it gives you the opportunity to have that application listed uh, with a, a large number of distributors with, um, uh, 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 with, uh, uh, with um, uh, pe people that, that uh, distribute those, a those applications out, out to other users. Additionally, later this year, uh, we'll, we'll add a link into Windows Marketplace so that all those, app, all those desktop users can have access not only to desktop applications, but to Windows Mobile applications. So greatly improving uh, the reach of your overall application. I'm also happy to announce uh, some work that we've done with, with iMate uh, around uh, adding, um, adding a new iMate developer kit uh, that, that provides a way for you to purchase a completely unlocked device uh, for you to do your development on. Additionally, as we have new versions of Windows Mobile and new public betas available, um, those public betas will be made available for those iMate devices so that you can flash that device with the new version of our operating system, make sure you can take advantage of the new uh, features of that operating system in your application, as well as test your old applications for compatibility. So an exciting program that we have with, with iMate for developers. In addition to these things that we're doing for ISVs, we also continue to do things in the community to make new, new um, uh, pieces of code available, new techniques uh, for building on Windows Mobile. What I'd like to, to do now is uh, invite up Luke, uh, Loki Week 10 uh, to go through some things that we've, we've done as, as part of the system. So. Hello, good morning. As Windows Mobile devices get increased in power and capability, uh, developers such as yourself would realize that some of these devices are not just meant for email or messaging. We can actually take these devices into our enterprise and have them access corporate data. So as more and more applications come out, or as more and more developers build these applications, they realize that they will, there's something that, that is missing, and that's basically the best practices or guidance on how we can build best of breed Windows Mobile enterprise level applications. And that's what Microsoft's Patterns and Practices group has done. And I'm going to talk to you about that uh, in, in a while. So the, the Patterns and Practices group mainly build process guidance and architectural guidance for developers to use and consume within the application. So they worked on and recently released a community tech preview of the mobile client software factory. That software factory comprised of six application blocks. These blocks